Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Kudemo. This is Christopher Drage, my co-host. Um, we are so grateful. These are also thank yous from Andy DeLapa, our co-host, and Robert, our other... Well, he is... You know, he, Robert has a last name, right? Robert Sharp. He is our PC guy. He does all our business stuff. He and draws he'll up be legal more document. active on our Facebook page, you know, monitoring that, making sure the info gets out. I'm also, not sure if we've told him this in person, but now we're asking him. <laughs> nope, we're telling him. <laughs> well, either way. Um, also, he will be co-hosting with us from time to time this year as you well. Know, whatever, whenever it fits into his schedule. And Andy will be with us uh, as soon as the season starts. He'll be on damn near every video. Um, or yep. at least the ones at the arena, anyway. As many as he can make. Yeah. As, uh, and that's the thing. And maybe. I'm sure he'd probably be at all the arena ones, because he does the video, then he goes home. Or work, or whatever. Or doing. wherever he goes after the game. But anyway, this is a thank you to, I have to double check because it keeps changing every minute. We have a lot of likes and a lot of followers. We have over 200 followers on Facebook. So thank you guys. Thank you to all 205 followers and 148 likes. Thank um, you. And it went up one since the one we previously recorded, so we're actually uh, glad. <laughs> let's ignore the, yeah. We had technical issues. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, just thank you. Uh, where are we transitioning? Because I was about to start talking about... Right, we are transitioning stuff. into the new sign, or well, re-signing of Colton Sissons. Yep, that news broke this morning. Welcome back, Sissons. Colton Sissons. Damn um, good player. Damn good player. For those of you who don't know and are um, new to the Predators or Admirals organization and have not seen Number them. 10 on the Predators, but number 1 in your heart. I don't know, I had to say something Number 10 on the Predators future. and number 18 on the Admirals. Um, he uh, is a 6-1 center, center slash right wing. They kind of flux him wherever they need him. He's a forward. Just put it at that way. He's a forward. He'll play He's whatever. He's 6-1, 200 pounds, 25 years old. Um, Louder. Remember, we might have a bad mic. All right. Um, he signed a seven-year deal worth two hundred or two hundred two million eight hundred and fifty-seven thousand one hundred and forty-three dollars per season. Yeah. So for seven years, I hope he's worth the seven, all seven years of that deal. Because well, some guys they sign a big deal and then they kind of peter out toward the ends. Oh, uh, the one thing I did want to bring to everyone's attention with him just saying that is his stats uh, over the f last three full seasons he's had in the NHL. He played for the Predator, uh, the first year being the 2016-2017 season. He played 58 games, 8 goals, 2 assists, 10 points, a plus 11, 12 penalty minutes. Hmm. Yeah, he, he has no issue going to the box. No, he has no issue staying out of the box. With twelve penalty minutes. Yeah, true. Also, he played twenty-two penalty uh, with a penalty games playoff games that season. Had six goals, six assists with a plus twelve and seven penalty minutes. Uh, let's see. In twenty seventeen, he played eighty-one games. Had nine goals, eighteen assists for twenty-seven points, a plus two with 42 penalty minutes, so a little more time in the box, most of those probably being minors. Yeah, probably then, stupid little holdings, hooking, slashing, you know, all the little minor BS penalties that usually uh, snowball into a rough game. Also add in that the fact that he played almost, well, he played about 20 more games than he played in, in the previous season, so those numbers are going to climb a little bit. He also played in 13 playoff games, 3 goals, 4 assists, for seven points, a minus two, and had eight penalty minutes. And this last season, he had 15 goals, 15 assists, for 30 points, a plus 20. And how many games? Uh, 75. That's the one thing you didn't throw out there when you started reading the numbers. I skipped it. Oops. Um, yeah. I'm not allowed to make mistakes. <laughs> uh, he had 23 penalty minutes. He played in six playoff games, no points, minus five, and had six penalty minutes. Um... So, for lack of a better term, in the playoffs, he's not doing better. But in the regular season, he's doing well. He keeps improving. If he keeps improving, this will be worth it. If not, well, we'll like see. I say, like I say, he'll peter off and... They'll buy him out of his contract. It is. It's not that expensive of a deal to buy out. So, 
Um, given that, we're going to segue into the Admirals segment of our thing. Yeah, we end. have we have a lot of stuff to kind of hype up for the season, you know, give them uh, our additional support. So, given our schedule... Yeah, we already did a schedule video, but the first game of the year is the October 6th, and the first home game of the year is... October 12th. Against the Lovell Rockets at 6... PM at the UW Panther Arena in downtown Milwaukee for all of our Nashville fans. Also, add in that game on October 6th. It is at 3 o'clock. For anybody that wants to watch that game. Correct. Um, we are heavily looking forward to this. There's a few new teams this year, like the Laval Rockets. The, the Colorado, Colorado Screaming Eagles. Eagles. And the Bellevue Senators. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. We're getting some new teams to look at. Um, I'm looking forward to playing Lovell Rockets. Because we've been... I, the only time I see these guys play is when I'm playing NHL video game. And, yeah. and even that, we have to do like a custom team just to get that. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so... That's not even accurate. So yeah, we good. really... Don't I mean, that. yeah, but let's start pro let's start promoting some of the upcoming stuff for the Admirals as far as where to get tickets, uh, who they should contact, you know. Let's start being our usual promotional uh, selves. All right, so for flex plans, would you get a a 20-pack and a 10-pack of uh, tickets? Oh, God damn it. The, the flex plan is basically you pick the games. They just give you vouchers. You exchange the voucher for whatever game you shall choose. So for the 10-pack, you get a guaranteed use of ticket. Uh, you get a premium gift. You get early access to the Admiral's Garage Sale, which is a postseason thing that happens each year. Uh, you get convenient payment plans. You're eligible for a state fair prize drawing, which is basically you can win state fair tickets. Or you can win stuff at state fair, actually. Yeah, and uh, online account manager. And ticket resales. And you get uh, playoff priority. The one thing you uh, with the 20-pack you do get, um, not with the 10-pack, is you do get an uh, exclusive event with the players and coaches. Where you can get autographs and photos taken, you know, stuff like that. Plus, you can meet other uh, season ticket holders, you know, become friends. Yep, and then you get everything we just listed. I uh, did you want to give out a prize? Because we are trying to give information for you. <coughs> um, you can get a 10-pack starting from as low as 30, 135, and they go as high as 243. Yeah, depending on which section, obviously. And then the 20-pack for the flex plan. Um, I gotta go back. Yeah, do what you do. I'm just trying to promote is... the tickets. I want to see this. So the arena 20 pack, sold out. you get uh, two. It's 260 at the lowest. Um, you're probably better off going with a half at that point. So I'm gonna plug that right now. Yeah. A uh, half is a little cheaper than 267. And you still get 20 tickets. Uh, you get 22, 24 actually. Half or is 20. 20. Remember, I've been a half season ticket holder for the last three years. This is my first year going full. I think I'm well aware of what you get for a 20. Or a half season, I should say. All right, so in the navy blue section, you can get... Uh, navy uh, blue is... Uh, you got to describe which parts of the arena, buddy. Um, the, the end corners, behind the goals, Essentially and behind where the net. I sit. I sit, um, I sit behind the net, the admiral shoot And that's twice. the light blue. The navy is 374, which is where I sit, which is right in the corners. And then the gray is one eight, uh, whoops, 481... Um, and that is, uh, so that's the gray section. That's you're sitting on, like center the, ice. Yeah, you're much. basically setting on, sitting on the sides of the ice. So, uh, there's not a bad seat in the arena. No, it's, it's really not. hard it's to really come good, by a bad It's seat. really good arena. Um, yeah, but you can contact the Admirals, or uh, you, can, you can contact the Admirals uh, via online or phone, or you can go in person to their office located right next door to the UW Panther Arena. Okay, so this is the uh, half season and full season uh, costs. Uh, half season in the light blue is two forty, so you save six bucks. And roughly. full season is four fifty six. And then in the navy section for half, it's three thirty six. Full season is six twelve. 
A uh, gray section for half season is 432. A uh, gray section for uh, fall season is 780. Red section is uh, $504. That's for a uh, half and for full season it is $936 in the red section. You can only buy full in the gold section, which is one thousand yeah, and eighty dollars. Yeah, gold me, section is glass seats. In case anybody's wondering, first two you, rows. Yeah. So. Um, and reds like third through sixth. Uh, get met, uh, f- half season includes twenty games, two free tickets for friends. Exclusive. Yeah, you can bring a friend voucher. That's what the bring a friend voucher is in case anybody. Hey, production wondering. lady, we need a charger for the laptop. <laughs> Say please. Please. We're trying to keep it PG so there's not a murder on camera. <laughs> All right. Um, you get exclusive front event with uh, players and coaches. You get discounted parking passes. You get merchandise discount. You get uh, group rights, uh, free brewer or Harley passes, uh, premium gift. I chose oh. Harley this year, if uh, anybody cares. Um, early access to the garage sale. Avoid uh, Saturday uh, or concert day. Uh, uh, game increases. fees. Yeah. Uh, Basically, uh, price increase. You get to avoid that because you get it all in your. You get all your tickets up front when you pay for the tickets. Um, you get a convenient payment plan. Eligibility for state fair drawings and prize drawings. Uh, online account management and uh, printer uh, print or transfer and resale tickets. Uh, playoff ticket priority. The only thing different between the full membership and the half season is you get an autographed poster of your favorite admiral. Yep. Early entry to the uh, Panther Arena, a um, hundred dollar concession card, and a se- exclusive season ticket holder bobblehead, and you get the first round of the playoffs free. Yeah. And also, what they, you what get they, two yeah. se- uh, four second hand chance vouchers. I think yeah. it's four, two or four. And what they mean by like uh, events with the players, like. For us, half season or full season, at some point before the season starts, they'll have a party at the arena where you get all your tickets, and there you get to meet the players and interact with the uh, other fans. Um, that's basically what we call the, uh, the season ticket holder party. You get that with the half and the full. Also new to the Panther Arena this year, they will be selling Pepsi products. Yeah. And then uh, there's also a holiday party. Uh, the dates of this stuff is basically on a need-to-know basis. Uh, when they uh, give you your email, only the season ticker holders will find out about these events. Because these are se- season ticker holder events for season ticker holders only. But they do give you the availability of bringing a guest. It's one guest per uh, season, per season ticker, ticker holder. holder. Um, Just giving you guys a heads up, there is a bit of a cash there. You can uh, cash in there. You can't bring like twenty of your friends there. You know, it's just you and the guest, one guest. Also, full season is thir- the uh, all thirty six home games. Oh, actually, it's thirty six of the home games, not including the school day games. Those you have to call your rep; they will hold your seat for you. So it's not thirty six home games. It's like thirty four home games there. Because there's 36 total home games. If you don't include the uh, school day games, technically it's only 34 home games you get for a full season plan. You can get the school day tickets if you talk to your rep. But if you really want to, you can get the first round of the playoffs free and just pay $6. What do you mean? Uh, you could, the school day games, they're normally like $9, $10. Oh, yeah, because uh, that's how the schools can afford it. Probably. So you know you can you can get a good ticket for a pretty good, decent price for the school day games. And so, trust us, we'll be at the school day games. We don't have kids that are on field trips. We're just hockey junkies that love going to hockey games. Also add in, but I you already knew that. Also add in, I would still like to thank the Florida Everblades for jumping aboard. Yeah. Oh, um, see what I oh, oh you uh, can, uh, you uh, can, uh. uh if you're looking for any if you're looking for any specific ticket reps, you could use our Ryan McCampbell. He's a good one. He's my personal ticket rep. Um, I also have Brian Martins. That's you, his. You also have uh, Kevin Clawson, uh, Megan uh, Chatterton, uh, Colton uh, Saint Vincent, and. Uh, 
they will be more than happy to assist you with anything. Also, John Bitter, who's VP of Ticket Sales. So yeah, all they, of them are more than willing to help you. Yep, yeah, they will help try to accommodate you in whatever way possible. And if you go to the office, also Ryan Harrington will also very much so helpful. Help yeah, you. they're all very helpful. So feel free, like I said, you can stop into the office. You can call them. You can go online. They're, they're very accommodating, and they will try their best to work with you so you have a pleasant experience. Also, there are parking uh, passes for the uh, parking structure, so that way you're not wondering where you're going to go for uh, parking. Yep, you can buy your parking vouchers there. The um, prices do fluctuate because at a concert night, parking passes ain't they slightly more expensive because there's special not, events. Not to season ticket holders and not to half season ticket okay, holders. Okay. But they do, we do, but that's the discount you get. But hey, we're accommodating every type of fan, season ticket holder or not. Because, you know, I'm just, you can, we're uh, broadcasting. You can still, and no matter what you do, if you buy single game tickets, you can still get parking passes at the office. At yeah, the you just have office. to pay separately for it, but you can still get them. Yep, and then you don't, You could just walk when you drive yeah, parking in. Parking structures so you're little... across the street, so you're not walking a million miles when it's negative 30. And trust me, there's going to be those negative 30 nights. Also, um, unfortunately. Since we're talking about that, we're going to talk about the media coordinator, Jamie Evers. Thank you for running their Twitter and stuff and, and, and yeah. Instagram and all those things. Yeah, um, so if you're bringing follow... stuff on their Twitter page, it's all Jamie doing it. Um, much love because you guys help us out so much. Oh, also, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. go follow their new page, Admiral's History, on Twitter. Um, they'll be dropping uh, info on the history of the Admirals thanks to the 50th year of Admiral's Hockey. hockey. And happy 50th. I am looking forward to another year being a ticket holder. This will be year four for me. Also, uh, much, uh, much respect to uh, Landmark Credit Union. Our for brand new sponsor. I believe the ice rink is now just the Landmark Credit Union ice rink. Yep, correct. And they will also have a uh, goal they'll, light. Yeah, they'll have a lighthouse that'll uh, flash every time the Admiral score a goal. So, there's all those kinds of things. You can also find the Admiral so on social media via Facebook, Facebook Twitter, Twitter, Flickr. Never heard know, of that. Never to heard be of honest, it. To be honest, I've never heard of that. YouTube Me. and then Instagram. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, YouTube and, and Instagram. Instagram. We're still unsure what Flickr is, but, but we'll we're check gonna, it out. We're going to look into it now. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're interested. See, we go on their website, and uh, what is their website? Uh, MilwaukeeAdmirals.com. Hey, also, we're trying to plug them. We're trying to help beat their promotional wing. We do not work for them. We're helping them. We're, we're basically uh You know, free damn club. well, we're going to have people trying to hit us up for free tickets, even though we can't provide that. Uh, we're, we're, we're basically a People do club. do that. They ask us for free things all the time because they think we work for the admirals because they're so used to being lied to, they think we're lying to them. Well, no, they were used to the admirals' roundtable being able to do, to do stuff like that, and he, he just... It was, well, wasn't was he getting school. paid by the team? We ain't getting paid by the team. Anyway, like I could, said, we're not employees of the team. Also, if you go to a lot of games, download the Admirals app. Uh, you can get it straight from the uh, Admirals website. I Milwaukee still Admirals need to do that. I really do. You can also go in there and get phone wallpapers if you of your favorite Admiral. Ooh, I got to get those because I don't have any of the wallpapers because my old phone took a crap on me and there goes and all my wallpapers went bye bye. Also, uh, so we're, we're since we're talking about the Admirals. They have some new merch. Yeah, it's the 50 year anniversary merch. So they have. A I do. I do like their uh, shirts. There's two shirts in particular I'm eyeballing. They're each uh, 20 a pop. One's 20, one's 30. Oh, yeah. The long sleeve is 30, and the short sleeve is 20. So the the short sleeve looks just like his shirt, and it just has the Milwaukee Admirals 50th. And then it has like 50th anniversary. 50th season. 50th season. Uh, and same then, difference, 50th season, 50th anniversary. So basically, with the other shirt, you have the same 50th season, and then you chop basically this part of the logo off, it's basically and you smack the it on top hat of it. On top of the 50. Also, they have an Admiral's 50th hat. Yeah. They have Admiral's 50th, uh, uh, what is that, zip-up hoodie. Yeah. Uh, it's a half, a quarter zip. Okay. Uh, you have the... Uh, Admiral's wallet. You have the, uh, no, magnet. 
Oh, it's magnet. It looked like a wallet. It does. It does look like one of those common day like uh, shiny wallets. Yeah. And then you have the trucker hat, which is twenty five. Yeah. You have the common, just plain blue that looks like this almost, with the Ambrose fifty on it. Yeah. Not the yellow. It's just plain blue. Um, and then you got the trucker hat. You have an Ambrose magnet for thirty bucks. Both hats are twenty five dollars. You have an Ambrose pennant for ten bucks. You and then get, uh, a fiftieth anniversary uh, hockey there, puck. There's a fiftieth anniversary Ambrose hockey puck. It's a replica puck. It's six bucks. It's all black. Then they also have a fiftieth anniversary alternate splash puck, which is also six dollars. Um, and then you have a wood sign, which looks really awesome, and it says Milwaukee Admirals. 50th season and we got to get one of those and then if you probably spend enough money in the store doing all of these yeah things, i'm sure if you spend like 50 or so you might get a tote bag or you could purchase it for five bucks yep at most 50th you could probably get a tote bag if you spend enough money yeah also still on sale it's no guarantee you can also get a crusher bobblehead that's uh what's his actual name i forget well don't worry about it. it's a hockey show we'll talk about some some other time Anyway, but the Crusher is the guy that made wrestling famous in Milwaukee. Yeah, his bobblehead is 50 bucks. Yeah. And then Roscoe's 40 for yep, a bobble. And, and then you got the four pack of bobbles for 30 bucks. That's what I'm saying. You get four for 30, and then Roscoe and the Crusher are like a lot. And uh, then yeah. obviously you got your uh, game worn jerseys that have not been sold yet. You have Frederick Allard for 500, Colin Blackwell for 500, Phil, uh, uh, is that Adam Carson for Carlson for two fifty? He just signed with. And you got Phil DiGiuseppe for four hundred. He just signed with the Rangers organization. Uh, Carlson just signed with the Moose. Ah, yeah, but DiGiuseppe just signed with the New York Rangers. Uh, 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 uh Fazio, he just signed with Florida Everblades. Uh, Tyler Gardet, his jersey's five hundred. Uh, Freddy Gaudreau for 400 I might need to get one of those because I'm still a fan. Rocco Grimaldi, he still has a jersey left. That's what, 600 correct? Correct. You have Adam Haluka at uh, 500 You have Tanner Janelle for 400 uh, Justin Kirkland, he is out of our system now. He, that, he, He's in the flame system, but he has a jersey at five, uh, 500 And then you have Matt Lane at $300. Uh, there is more. Yeah, there is more. I mean, uh, I'm sure there's more because, like, uh, let's get to be, okay. Be, you got be. Zach Magwood at four hundred. You have uh, Matthew Olivier at five hundred. You have Zach Osborne at two fifty. You have Alexander Overhart at three hundred. You have Vince Pedri at three hundred. Uh, Joel Pendenza at four hundred. By know. the way, Vince Pedri and Joel Pendenza will be back in Milwaukee this Email season. Email Patterson four hundred. He, he is now um, overseas. So um, you have a. Uh, Two of Emil Pedersen's jerseys. The blue one, obviously, for four. <coughs> and the white one's for four. You got Philip Procta for three. You have uh, Garrett Ross at 400 and Zach Ronaldo at 400 yeah. Oh, wait, there's more. You have... Uh, I just you saw have Mika Salamaki for 500 Six. 600 Cole Schneider for four. Uh, Duncan Siemens for four. We Both have, of them are hits. Yeah. Uh, white jerseys, probably ripped one. Yeah, but hey, they're game use. And you got our captain, Jared Tenorti, 500 bucks. Six. Six. Why it's do six. I keep seeing five when it's a six? Also, you can buy, uh, men out there, you can buy t-shirts, uh, Admiral's t-shirts. Uh, there's a Judgment t-shirt. Well, they could check out a lot of these other prices. You could also check them all up on uh, squareup.com. Slash market slash more MKE Admirals. Yeah. Or you could just go to the Admiral store or their ticket office. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff on here for like twenty five bucks. You could get a Freddie Gaudreau, Roman Yossi. There are uh, t shirt jerseys. You yep. gotta specify. A uh, cool t shirt. Oh, they got a Matt Donovan t shirt jersey now? Yeah. That's a new one because I got a. Uh, I got a uh, Yossi, I got Goudreau, I got Grossnick. I have Grossnick and Richard. I'm about to pick up Richard and Donovan, if Donovan's still on our Also, you could also pick up a really cool t-shirt. It's almost uh, the road to Nashville goes through Milwaukee, which yeah. inspired our name. Yeah, I was just about to say, no, that's not ours. That's uh, that We just like kind of did a play on that. You could also buy basketball shorts for 30 bucks. All right, anyways, uh, we done hyping stuff up? 
And obviously, there's all sorts of women's and kids' apparel. There's replica jerseys. Yeah, the replica jerseys are one twenty-five. It costs seventy-five to have them. And these are blank. It's seventy-five if you want personalized. Uh, oh. Can you still get the option of having the Brewer logo put on it if you pay extra? Yeah, I think it's like an extra thirty bucks or so. Because I would so do that. Also, you could get a youth jersey, uh, basically kids jersey for ninety five. Yeah, or and for then, real small people that can fit into youth size clothing. Because there's yeah, a lot of adults that can wear youth anybody. size clothes. Anyway, personalization is seventy five bucks. Yeah. Uh oh. Sorry, PC police is gonna have my head in the news. That that, I just offended somebody right there. I can't speak without offending people. It's really irritating. Um. So there's a lot of cool stuff on the on these websites. There's mugs, ornaments. Hats, t-shirts, pucks, coasters, cups. <laughs> all right, all right. You, they, you, get, you guys get the message. We're just uh, we're just uh, promoting the team. Is there anything else Admiral related we need to discuss? Because I think we pretty much hit it. Yep, we hit it all. Um, so, uh, yeah, we can that, probably wrap up this show right given now. Given that note, we're going to end you guys with what's new to come for us next year. Oh, yeah, we forgot about that segment. What's come to, to come for us next year, within the next three weeks, we will have a new camera green screen. Yep, we'll be going green screen most of the time. Uh, yeah, we're going to have our, we are going to have a studio. Um, See, we're improving our quality. And our videos um, will be a lot better visually, and uh, audio will be way better. Um, he is going to college? Yeah, I'll be a college guy for video production and a bunch of other things. And I'm going to college for journalism and uh, uh, sports management and uh, video start- editing. Yeah, I'll be starting college on August 26th. And I'll be going in January. Yeah. And this is basically my full-time job, so we're going to be working our butts off to make this uh, to make this podcast as successful as possible. Oh, and Also, we got to plug YouTube. We have to discuss how that's going to work. We need subscribers on YouTube, people. So, oh, we, I, I, I explained it to him, but it's a little complicated. Yeah. All right. So, what we're going to do on YouTube this year is uh, YouTube is going to get our videos first. Facebook, you're going to have a two-hour delay. Um, we're going to schedule our video to release two hours delay because <laughs> um, we just need the, we need the people to come over to YouTube. We're trying this. to get people to come over to YouTube because you figure we have all these knuckleheads on YouTube putting up stupid YouTube channels and they're making money. We're actually giving you useful content. We're being news, we're being sports news journalists. So, yeah, we're trying to grow our YouTube channel so we can make money. Um, also, uh, this so that way you don't got to pay us out of pocket. All you got to do is put up with a what little thirty second commercial for a video. Ooh, wow, it's thirty second little video thing that you could easily say click. And skip After the, seven seconds, it gives you the ability to. Skip and we'll it. still we'll still get money from that. Also, um, this year. And it's weird how Facebook does their whole monetization stuff. It's easier to monetize a YouTube channel than it is a Facebook page. Yes, uh, we have a video on Facebook so for that has a thousand that views. For it, they owe us twenty bucks, and we still ain't seen it. Yeah. Exactly. For every thousand views you get on Facebook as a, a sports page. Or as a broadcasting page, uh, uh, Facebook is supposed to pay you twenty dollars. We have two videos over a thousand, and they owe us forty bucks, and we have not seen a dime. So that's basically where we're off at. Yeah, so we we're really going to be putting our focus on growing. So I got to just turn off Facebook, go to YouTube, and so I don't want to hear any of you complaining about oh Facebook's garbage. We're going to quit Facebook. Well, you haven't quit Facebook if you're not jumping on the YouTube train. Just also, saying. also add in that you know Facebook, we are going to have some content. Well, don't worry, is, don't worry. We're not we're not leaving Facebook in general, but hey, we, we're, we're just trying. We're just trying there's to change be a small delay, two hours. Yeah. We're just trying to get people to come and look at our content. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to make some money off of this. All right, people. Um, but Facebook, you do get something that YouTube's not, and that is in arena footage. Yeah. of us breaking down games only for Admirals games. Because, yep. you know, obviously we're not big enough to get credential for road games and Predator games. But we're slowly getting... I can bug rock for... Yeah, I'm sure you can. <laughs> and even still, that would only be a handful of games a year. But, yeah. Uh, It'd still be nice. So, all we're, all we're asking from you fans is to just go over to YouTube from Milwaukee to Nashville. Click subscribe. You'll be able to get all of our videos. 
We're getting our production value up. It'll be worth your subscribe. Oh. And it's free to subscribe. Everybody likes free stuff, right? We're giving you this content for free, and clearly you like it because you keep watching our videos. Also, uh, we're going to be uh, having... Um, we're actually going to probably have some we're guests. Uh, Andy, like we said earlier, is coming back. Will we're, you stop trying to drink my soda? We're kidding? probably going to be having some merch. We've been, we've been really we're diving been into that during the off-season to try to come up with the logistics of producing T-shirts. Yep, we're just trying to... We're trying to create some revenue streams. Because last year, believe it or not, we had people that were absolutely upset that I wasn't on camera because I had to work to make money because this ain't making me money. But I'm going to turn it into my business. Yep, and this is the other thing. When we sit here and we're, we're not saying... That we're doing this this way so that you don't have to make donations. Yeah, so exactly. that you don't have to you don't have to give subscribe us anything. Yeah. We're doing it this way so that we can make money without costing you anything. Exactly. You don't gotta pay a squat. You just gotta go to YouTube, click subscribe, you can watch your videos there, and bam. That's all we're asking. Because at the end of the day... Because we're still going to do these videos regardless. We're just giving you guys a heads up that it would be nice to get some subscribers on YouTube. Also, um, looking forward, uh, we have, uh, we're looking for sponsors. So any, yeah, hey, any, if, if you own if you, a small if, if, business yeah, or anything, just yeah. find us at the arena or contact us via Facebook and there you go. Yeah, if you want your uh, company's little logo up on our green screen. We have a, we have a tier system. We've already created what? that as far as the sponsorship. It's complicated, but we're organized on that front. Yep, we're all good to go. But like I said, we know um, we're we're in talk talk. We're trying Crap, to talk. I got something in my eye. Your thumb? No, it's <laughs> itching. That's why my thumb's in my eye. You jackass! Oh, you swore. Ass ain't a swear word. But it's a donkey. Donkey, exactly. you jack donkey. All right, quit being funny. Let's wrap the video. We already t covered everything. So um, oh, uh, well, there was one other thing new this year. I kind of forgot. Oh yeah. Robert will be um, our, our fourth part-time co-host. Yeah. That's another thing. New also, Robert, I think he's been doing this already, but he's going to be, like, before each home game, he'll be throwing up the uh, lineups. Yep, he'll be throwing lineups out Question, there. Question, are we going to find out their lineups on road, or is that solely a home game thing? Um, well, we don't know yet? We don't know yet. We'll okay. figure it out. Yeah, but we're going to try our best to at least put the lineups for each game on our I'll Facebook talk, page. I'll like I said, we're not completely leaving Facebook, but the video side of things, we're trying to shift also, it to YouTube. Also, come over to Twitter. Follow He Runs Our Twitter page. Come over to Instagram. Yep. We, I run the Instagram If you page. chat with anybody on Twitter regarding our Twitter feed, it's probably me. Because he... Yeah, I got it. I got the Twitter. Side. Well, you could also follow me from Milwaukee to Nashville host. On Twitter. Uh, yeah. Because he stole the name before I could use it. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, not to mention, Twitter forced me to close my uh, personal Twitter account because I'm currently operating our wrestling podcast Twitter account and the hockey one, so Twitter won't let me operate three Twitter accounts. So, thanks, Twitter. I had to close my personal account because of you. Good job, Twitter. So for that, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill. This is Christopher Drives. Also from Robert Sharp and Andy DeLapa. Thank you guys, all of you. Please subscribe on YouTube. Have a wonderful rest of your week.